Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Mr. Maker. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, you know, my dad, go on. Why don't y'all stop what you're doing right now? Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, you name it, we're on it. But if you definitely want to see our visuals, go to our YouTube channel. There you can see all our visuals. But don't just subscribe. I want y'all to go ahead and join our membership because that's how you get all our exclusive content, okay? Way ahead of time. And, you know, we do all of this in our own dime. So that's how y'all say y'all want to support us. That's the best way to do so. Thank you in advance. Man, listen, man. Hey, man, we got something special in store for you today. This guy, he been on the show, um, yeah. and he been grinding, man. Like, ever since I met him, it's always something. You know, certain people, they have to try to figure out something. To, man, let me get something going, and then we can, you know, man, let me let me get something going. And uh, uh, once we get something going, man, I'm going to come on there. Thank you, bro. This guy right here always got something going. You know what I'm talking about? Keep something going. So here we go, man. Listen, man. Al D three hundred is in the building. Three hundred, we in here, man. Appreciate you for having me, man. man. Like always, it man. is family. you family, man. You <laughs> home, man. Know what I'm saying? Listen, man. I'm gonna tell you, man. This this album right here hit me, man. I mean, I was enjoying listening to it, man. I ain't gonna lie to oh, you. You go right in. You not but, doing no no no. no but like I, I, I just want to say, man, this album because I'm wearing the shirt. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Pain if y'all read, pain made me rich. Pain, thank you. Let man. me tell you something, and and I had to say that because we. You always grind from the crowns all the way to the pain made me rich, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To Davis Street. You know, yeah. like like we're gonna talk about all that today, man. Yeah, but thank you it. so much for coming on I'm the show, it. man. I'm like I said, man, you one of them ones, man, I enjoy sitting down with you, bro. Man, I appreciate that. Is it oh yeah, that's boss talk one on one with the boss. That's a cameo hey, right hey, there. Hey, Say, yeah. man, listen. So, you know, when you first came, we it didn't have no out of this boss. Talk one on one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I drunk. knew it. From now on, I'm gonna drink all of my drinks. Hey, talk one on one. What a boss is talk, man. Mm -hmm. So you know, babe, what what do you think about LD? When you think LD be working, when I think about LD, I think about the grind. Yeah, because he be grinding all the time, and he always have an opinion on everything. <laughs> so you you gonna enjoy this interview? Yes, yeah. man. You know, I'm gonna just jump right out the window. Go ahead, okay. man. You know, uh, I seen you do a live, and you went in. You was like. D1, he's oh, a, he's yeah. an artist out of New Orleans. He's been on Boss Talk 101. Right. Um, you know, and he had a few choice words for uh, Meek Mills, Rick Ross, mm -hmm. and um, it was one more, he, Jim Jones. Right. Um, he had some valid points. You think he has some valid points? I think he has some valid points. Okay. But, you know, at the end of the day, I I, I want I heard some of your take on it on TikTok, mm -hmm. but really you only get a you get a little bit, you don't you get a just of what's going on. Okay. You don't get the whole okay. concept. Before we get off into it, tell me in your opinion, what was the valid points? Well, I mean, if you're gonna talk about you doing reform, mm -hmm. uh, if you meet meals, then you gonna have to you gonna have to definitely stand on that, you know, far as when you're trying to help guys get out of their situation and then when you talk about things that go on in your rap music, as he was talking about, right. you know, it can be a confusing, uh, conflicting subject. You know what I'm saying? Um, do people listen at that music? I think I think music has a thing where it does challenge certain people. Everybody's not on your mental intellectual level. Okay. So some of these kids don't have nothing else but the music. When you start to let, when I say kids, some of these grown men still in kids' position mentally because they had never grown up and, because and they because lost their that, fathers early. And I'm with you. And so because of that, Meek Mill should rap about what what you want. Like, what should he rap about in your opinion? That's gonna feed him. I think he should rap right. about his story. His story is used to be when he had the braids and okay. when, he, when he was in the streets and he was rapping and he was rapping doing his freestyles. He knew about what was going on in street culture a little more than when you come home and you hanging out with billionaires and y'all basically riding around together in Bentley coupes and all type of nice uh, Teslas and all type of Sprinter vans. You know yeah. what I'm saying? All I'm saying is 
this transition, I think Jay did a great job with the transition. There's certain rappers that did a great job with these transitions. We so selective. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know I, what? I, I it, think, it's so I crazy think, to I me how selective we are. J. Cole did it. He, he come off the chain. Off the, he wasn't a, a, like a, he didn't have a street development at first right. as well. So, you know, certain people, rap your truth if you if I had to cut no, it no, short. No, no, no. Entertain the way you choose to entertain and let the market decide what you should do and what you shouldn't do. So if you making rap songs and they buying it and you like to receive that payment from doing it, that's what you should do. It's the one thing about like, I feel like about black people as a whole, we very quick to criticize each other's success, you know? And the reason why I felt like it was a bad thing for the dude, um, the guy from New Orleans, D1, D1 it's despicable as a rapper to, okay, let me break that. I'm going to break it all the way down. At the time when, when, uh, when he was saying what he was saying, imagine this Rick Ross, uh, uh, Meek Mill spent a year making an album, right? It's got all kind of costs to it. You know, it's, it, it take a lot to make it look like it ain't nothing happening. Right? So you talking about doing all of your work, mixing, mastering, recording, traveling, promotions. You doing all of your work, and then a week before you out, before you about to come out, some dude just wake up. Not 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 just a guy because one thing about it as a as an artist, mm -hmm. you you sign up for the criticism. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the criticism it come with it, but as another rapper, for you to see like. Because you're going to go through that same process. You're going to put all your energy into a project. You're going to work. And then, like, even me being right here right now, my album about to come out. So, you know, you hear you moving around. I got to be in tile. I got to right. go to, you know, radio. And then for somebody to wake up and just say, hey, you know, brother, I love you. You need to change your, you know. It was, just, I, I, first of all, I know it was disingenuous. It was a, it was a move, an internet move to get him some clout. And I just feel like it's so sad that we had a, the people that was chiming in and even you, what you saying that, that, that he had some point, then you ain't got no point, man. Especially, hold on, one more, you go I'm going to tell you another thing, especially when you from New Orleans, man, you got to, why you don't, why you didn't open your mouth about your own state first? Like, why would you, what would make your mind jump way to Rick Ross and Jim Jones and, and Meek Mill when you from the same state with NBA young boy with Fredo, why wouldn't you? What, Let's that talk would about be you? Okay, so my point is, I love what you said about everything. I I got. She I, agree with hold you. On, listen, hold on, listen. Hold on, listen to me. I've gotten points on both both sides. Okay. He did going on Lil Wayne before, and Lil Wayne is from that side, right? He has went in on Jay Z, all these, so this is not his first time doing this. Before. Brother, hold make on. make some music, hold man. On, make hold something genuine. He make he makes music, but what what's I'm your saying, favorite song by? Him? Hold on, listen to oh, me. You don't have Can, one. Yes, you do, David. Hold on. Yeah, David, uh, David and Goliath. I listen to that. One. I, I mean, for Let's one, go. for let me say this uh, off top, okay. off top. Uh, I'm not, I'm, you know, this the the larger conversation is about um people creating and and with the goal of rocking crowds you see um yeah. in the same breath of you know i just don't it is it is it's so hard and then i'm gonna say for i'm gonna just try to be clear the three artists that we talking about mm -hmm. right or that the guy was talking about right you talking about Rick Ross, mm -hmm. Jim Jones, mm -hmm. Meek Mill, right? Mm -hmm. Three individuals that we literally seen they they come up from nothing, right? Right. Mm -hmm. We talking about like uh, 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 Rick Ross being with Slip and Slide and loading up uh, uh, speakers for for Tony Draper and and, and, and you know like mm -hmm. you talking about from the very bottom ghost writing to finally being blessed to have his own hit record and um, taking a hit record and creating an empire with it, right? Two people, and that's one person. We saw Meek Mill with the busted braids and 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 running around, you know, with Atlanta, with T.I., you know, we seen this, you know, uh, all the way to where he is today. And we also seen um, Jim Jones, right? 
coming from not even really a rap, not a rapper, you know, from the projects watching Mace get mm-hmm. signed and then watching his homeboy Cameron get signed and take them along with him from him being basically an enforcer to the group of the group to moving up to the to the microphone to being respected as uh, uh, as one of the most a formidable rapper in his own right and having a a great solo career as a rapper and this is the you know because criticism everybody can criticize mm-hmm. as a rapper you can do nothing but respect that there is nothing else you got to respect what a person did and if you're making music that connects in whatever way that it connects you know that's a blessing so why would you as somebody that is in this art form longing for a connection trying to establish yourself as an artist publicly critique somebody that is winning and establishing themselves especially when and here's the here's the other point another major point you can play a rapper any you can play and I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of narrow it keep it to rap you could play a rapper and people can one rapper and people can have a thousand different right, uh, right. perceptions of mm-hmm. what it is they doing. We could play Nipsey Hustle. One person gonna say, This is a gang banging rapper, I don't wanna hear that, that you know, out of crip, blah 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 gang, this and that. The next person gonna say, Man, the independence, the black owned, he is really opening my eyes in that way. Mm-hmm. The other thing that I didn't really want to say, like on record, really, but I'm gonna just go ahead and say it, man. Who the hell sliding the Rick Ross? Who getting in a who? What? Which one of these kids is is like? You know what? Put that Rick Ross. In, I'm finna go kill. Like, like stop it. You know what I'm saying? We gotta understand. Like this, this music got many uses to it, and them in the same in the same way that like what you was talking about. Um, some of the content of of rap music is bitch this, get money that, hold that, blah blah blah. You can have a person like Lil Yachty go stand on the stage and stand in front of 30, 60,000 white kids. And they not finna fuck hoes and, and rob people or, or none of this. People enjoy this music in all kinds of ways. Right. And I think that it's very, I, it really it's just sound like it's hate. What? It, I, it's, I was, it's hate. I, I, let, let me talk. Niggas, uh, it's hate. I got to get in here. On you this. Know? I, I don't <laughs> think so. I mean, when you follow this guy, like when you go back and you look at D1, if you really watched his run, you see D1 uh, early on when he did talk about Jay and Wayne and 50. Okay, let me keep going. I'm not, not going to interrupt you at all. I was but, just taking a deep breath. Okay, okay <laughs> but when you think about it, not only that, this this kid taught school for L- after he got out of LSU, taught kids for years. Now he teaches at Harvard. This guy teaches at Harvard. Not only that, he got songs with Lupe Fiasco. He got songs with Big Crit. He got songs with... Uh, he got songs with this Manny dude got Fresh, songs with right. Manny Fresh. Uh, this dude got a lot of music out there Drake. too. Drake, Drake. You know this dude got accolades. Yeah, he got accolades. Yeah. So at the end of the day, he's not just some guy who don't have connections. Killer Mike. Uh, this guy is not just somebody who hadn't been working with people in hip hop. He ain't just doing this just for clout. I don't believe. I think that he. You don't been, think that? I don't think so. Because then why would you not reach out? Why wouldn't you not reach out to the let, person? Let me say because they wouldn't answer. Go? I don't think they oh, answer no answer. DM from him. Okay. That wasn't listen, the point I, that I brought I, I wanted to, him to say too. this. I just want to say that when you look at this dude, D one, and the stuff that he's done, he's done his he's done his due, due diligence. He talked about it on here that Rick Ross had a song said. God forgive and I don't. That's one of his things that he brought up on here when we was talking. Mm-hmm. You know, the thing I look at is this ain't some new message from him. He's been given this same message and taken because he said something about a kid having a little Wayne tattooed on him. That's why mm-hmm. he in it, and he didn't even understand what he what 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 what, what the message was behind uh, what Lil Wayne was saying in a certain song that he was pretty much pushing out. But the thing I can say is when I when I look at when I look at D one from What's that boy name? A uh, Boris Watkins and all them boys that run with him. You know what I'm saying? These they run with who? With, run with D1. Okay. He's all even Willie D. I'm pretty sure. He, he, same thing. These guys are in these circles with this dude. They been dealing with this dude, so it ain't like he don't know some reputable people in hip hop. That's all I want to say. Cause I don't think he just jumped out here. I want to get attention. Cause he already he got plenty of views. He's doing his thing. He not on the Rick Ross level, I guess, cause he's not mm-hmm. secular. But the dude 
has a whole brand that he pushes and he ain't just like running around here. He come here once a month mm-hmm. to, to, teach, to teach. They fly me in to teach kids here. I have um, cons and pros for both sides. You know, just like what you were saying, you know, I do respect their grind and their hustle from the beginning coming up mm-hmm. i have listened to a lot of their hits and yes i when i was younger i sang a lot of because i'm hook i sing the hook but the rest of it i don't know nothing about the rest of it right. so we're getting to all of the other stuff i may never know what they're saying until when i had to research just now to mm-hmm. hear actually listen to the words to know what it was talking about right but that don't that's not gonna stop me from singing the the hook right because i like it but at the same time i'm not gonna go out there and slide or do whatever <laughs> right but um, I've known just like say R and B. You have some songs that was talking about how this person cheated or this person this and that da da da. But a certain person who just w- went through what they're saying, listen to it, want to go and go beat up that woman or want to go do stuff and may even go do whatever because of how what that song is saying. You know what I mean? And I've heard no, I've seen I've seen that not actually go and do it, but would actually leave them like, man, I'm going this, because it hyped them up. You understand the what I mean? The song hyped the them up. The song hyped them up, especially if you are going through whatever they're saying at that time and resonate with whatever that person is saying. So even when they're talking about in rap music, how, you know, this dude did this to them and that, and they had to go do this, blah, 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 blah. That could have just happened to somebody. And they listen to that song and it'd be like, man, that could have hyped them up. We don't know. Just like I've heard people, I've heard people sit in that same seat <laughs> and talk about, the reason they end up on the streets selling drugs and doing whatever, they came from a good household. Mom and dad there, they didn't have to um, need for anything. They didn't have to do that. But listening to this music, glorifying the game, this, that, and that, whatever, I've heard so many times people sit in that seat and because of that. And the only thing I'm saying, we got hold cameras on. In, in front of it too. And so a lot of people <laughs> sitting over here with that old <laughs> cap on their head. Man, let me tell you no, something. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. But what I'm saying is that, because what, what D was talking about was, as I said, the lyrics and the only thing just like he talk about the soul food references soul food people start the soul food yes because you know that's what we love but i guarantee you the people working in there are not eating that food every single day for the rest of their life because they'll end up with diabetes they end up with high blood pressure they end up with all this other stuff you understand because it's not healthy for you to be consuming that stuff every all the time single. exactly so what i'm saying is that because they've been in that business they know better they might feed it to you but i guarantee you they're not eating it every day just like the the rappers who have grown from being on the streets, the grind, the hustle, they don't have to do as much anymore, but they still go out there and do their albums and stuff like that. Like he just came out with his album, which great work, great, you know, great individual. I love his hustle, as I said. Who, Rick? Rick Ross and all Man. of them, all, all of them, they, they have great hustle. But so what I'm saying is that- I'm a Rick Ross fan, don't get it twisted. Is I'm that you're not out there doing that music. stuff anymore. You understand what I mean? So why not balance what you're doing with some other stuff, showing people how to elevate their game in your music. If you really great at music, and this is the sad thing, if you really great at music like them people is y'all talking about, they got every song, man. But that's not gonna be really emphasized. You're not gonna necessarily be talking about, uh, um, you know, their positive songs. This same dude, Rick Ross, he got a song, Mama Smile. You know, like people have other songs, yeah, and, and but when you when you are looking to critique and-, and You go and, to the worst. Yeah, and they're gonna, the they gonna make it seem like that's what it is that you always be doing. It's just, it's, it's unfair. But like I said, the only uh, issue that I had with that, because it's to be critiqued, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, it's from a, from a rapper. Like that's crazy. I get it. I get it. And like I said, I, I just know I sitting down with him and watching their music for all these years. I, I rock with all of them, so I ain't finna sit here and act like I'm gonna rock with them. Whether whatever they doing, because they look like me. I'm gonna be real. I'm kind of throwed like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. rocking with it. You know what I'm saying? Like right. now, if it's something else other than I ain't. But when it comes to the music, even Meek Mills, and I'm not a big Meek Mills fan like that. Okay. I, I, of his music, I mean, but I listen to it because in the club I heard him go crazy a few times mm-hmm. when it come down to that damn build up song. And yeah. you have other people that, that you are a fan beast, of, man. Oh yeah, for sure. And I, that's that's the whole, that's what I'm saying. If you don't like what this person is doing, like if you don't want to eat at this place, go eat somewhere. Go your ass, yeah. it, it's it's common sense. But to sit up and and to say publicly to bring a, a bad look to what somebody is doing in their craft to feed their family, 
That shit is some man. Real I'm, shit. And, and I and I definitely I definitely felt you. I just seen you on the internet with that, and I just wanted to speak on it. Now we went too far in on it for me, yeah, we, yeah, we but went we went way far, far in yeah. on it. But uh, I want to. I, I really want to. There's a few things that didn't come across, so we gonna get into the music. Don't right. even twist. Sure. But I got to ask you about this. Got to. I, and because last time, you know, you made some crazy statements on from day one when you come on. Some my of show. them I'm gonna change. I, you did change some of okay. them right in the midst of right. it. But this one right here came to my desk, man. Right before the show Okay You probably ain't heard it yet Cause mm. you don't be on it You ain't had time You was in traffic nigga Okay Honeycomb Brazy Okay Come out and see it Jay Prince did not meet him When he got out He was upset about it And you might I don't, You don't have to speak on But something he said Earlier today on his live He said You went and met Pimp C And I'm better than Pimp C Oh, okay. Lyrically, he can touch me. He not no way, you know, his talent ain't ain't even nowhere close to mine. Gotcha. I don't know if this is a, I don't know if this is a plot. I don't know. Yeah. But you you know how I am about Pimp C. Yeah, you ain't like that. At all. Right. So I'm trying to figure out what is, is these people really, is this stuff real on this internet or are these people just doing this for Cloud or or, or, or or you know this internet got everybody you know standing up looking you right. know in a sense yeah so I'm just trying to understand man like like for sure that is not a truth when it comes down to what I believe right but what make you think what make a person say something like that do you know um, no I mean yeah this right here what you're doing <laughs> right internet. now that's what a person is looking for they looking for you to say something about it I think, uh, it's just a new day that we in man that Be we living in an algorithm and in a captioning world. So if you can associate your name in a caption, I'm not saying nothing about Brazy. Brazy yeah. I, you know, he just got out of the situation. He just came your home. Grandparents Happy is, to have him home. Your grandparents have been killed. But his grandparents did get killed right before he left. He's having, you know, and I'm pretty sure you're dealing with whatever got to, you know, the traumas that go along with that. But at the yeah. end of the day, we're living in a, in a caption um, um, environment where now, the caption is going to say Brazy yeah, and Pimp C and then whatever's in between. Yeah, I got something to put up there. Right, yeah, you ready. <laughs> you ready. You finna get you a check out of it. Yeah, I got to put me right. something up there because I, cause that's all I talk about on here. Mm -hmm. Pimp C got a birthday coming up uh, next month. You know, we will be celebrating here. There has not been a time that we didn't celebrate, you know, Pimp C's life on his birthday here. And uh, Since shout I out to his uh, to his family. Son just got home. To uh, shout out to, to C, Bun and to Bun and all of that trail family. For sure, for sure. Underground King. Love them guys, man. Texas, man. Mm -hmm. Stand up, man. You, man. I seen you on a live with Bun B, mm -hmm. and he, you and him spoke. I think he talked about being on his new project. How was that? And how did y'all? How did that even come about? Uh, you know, Bun. He he had been showing love for a while, you know, out of town in Atlanta. People was asking him about me and stuff like that. And um, he just, I was always hearing, even before that we had talked, that that he was always saying positive things about me and um, in 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 certain company. And you know, we, you know, we we, you know, if you do something good like that for us, man. When ain't nobody, you know, looking or whatever, you know, it's big. So just just seeing, um, getting embraced from the ones that we looked up to and still look up to, man, it's always a big thing. It's a beautiful thing, man, when you, when you, cause you know, you know, we've been doing what we've been doing for a while and just to get to a, a, a place where you start to be recognized by, by your OGs, you know, that's a, it's, it's no feeling like it. Man, for, I mean, to be honest with you, man, you seen, I, well, I don't know if you've seen, but I, I interviewed him uh, uh, probably about a month or two ago, mm -hmm. about a couple of months ago now. And man, that was probably one of my interviews for me personally, a dope interview because I'm a fan. Right. And I told him before that, like I creeped up on that situation because I didn't want to mess up my fandism and my my whole, you know what I'm saying? Because right. it's so important to me that my longevity with this, <laughs> you know, this right. UGK movement, <laughs> I don't want to touch that if it's going right. to mess it up because right. it's too good to me. And he so needs need, like, need, like, need like, to know that you're like, in it. Yeah, yeah. Like right. me and her, my wife, Jamaican, she done heard every UGK song riding up and down every the road. Every time we the road. Right. She, that's what she going to get. She got to hear that. We raised on it. So, you know, that. so that's why when it, it was important to her, she actually reached out to Bud through the DM to, you know, link us up because she knew I wasn't fit to do it. 
Yeah, you and know Bun solid. And Bun came across just as he, you know, as I would have wanted him to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we linked the same way because I'm a, I'm a year, I'm a couple of years older than Bun, mm -hmm. so it's like I'm creeping on this because I know we done met a few times, but I had never had had a chance to sit down with him. And man, we had a hell of an interview and. I just, you know, I appreciated that, man. So yeah. definitely to see you and him after I felt like it was me because I had you on the show, no matter how y'all look That's right, that's at. it. Just you like, you're like, yo, hey, listen. I'm thinking. Your success <laughs> is my success and mine right, is yours. Yo, that's the like, way it go. I'm like, okay, that nigga right there, I seen him on Boss Talk. Right. You know, in my mind. Well, you know nah, what I'm saying? Slide him out. Yeah. Don't matter, nigga. Okay, just don't right. even bother that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I said, the nigga said, I said, Bud seen the nigga on Boss Talk a few times. Yeah. And then he seen him, you know, him and Kiki been on Boss Talk. So he said, you know what? I need to holler at him. And right. the little nigga, and he, he know a few people. I, yeah, he know, he know eat. And right, right. after that, yeah. that's when he called you. And that's the beauty. Small <laughs> circle, man. Small world. Small world. And that's how we end up being on the same page. I right? enjoyed it, man. I love seeing y'all link up together, man. Like, so, you know, this Pain. album, you, you, I'm Pain gonna go. made me rich. Oh, Pain you gonna go into it before yes, me? Yes, I am. You a trip, man. So yeah. where you heard did me that, say this album though, didn't you? So tell yeah. me, tell, tell <laughs> me about where that, where that came from. Okay, first, like you know, um, where all of you know, I've been out four years now, mm -hmm. and this is my fifteenth album upon being out. So, which nobody does that, right? But. The and then not necessarily even just about music. Just I mean about um my particular. I just feel like everybody. This that's one of them situ. Uh, one of them statements that I feel like is applicable to all of us. Like everything that you went through is to get you to where you at now. You know to get your understanding of where it is right now. So for me is I went through a lot of a lot of self inflicted things it wasn't the music fault it wasn't it was nobody fault but my own right so it wasn't from listening to music no, when you was younger it wasn't, it, it wasn't for it wasn't the music fault okay. right but um uh everything i, I always was really kind of having fun throughout my process like right. it was and then i i kind of always knew that um that whatever i was going through at a particular moment like i kind of retained it <clears throat> i retained it from a level of like I'm gonna use this one day. This you know what I mean. This mm -hmm. this is gonna be worth something. You know, just everything. You know, like my friends, people I was locked up with, they became like brothers. Just everything. Like my journey, period. Music, uh, um, even you know from just everything about it. Like the growing up, seeing your favorite rappers on CDs and whatever, and to to now being friends with these rappers. You know, he put it all in this. Right, these people calling you and shit now. Like this, this is my peer group. These mm -hmm. is my peers. You know. It's 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 an amazing journey, and that's what I mean personally by all the pain that I went through to be able to not even I mean to even just have the voice that I have like to to you know the the way I look and you know sometimes I just be looking like damn I like where the fuck like how do I don't went crazy at some points you know and uh, to get to where I can just be I can't imagine that. Yeah, like your first tattoo, like tattoos on your face and shit like that. Mm -hmm. People was telling me that I was that I was saying, which I can't really remember, but people was telling me that um, man, Al, you remember when you first started getting your face tattooed? You were saying like, shit, you gonna rap? Like I'm gonna get out of me. I don't recall it. Mm, I mean, really? nah, I don't really remember the thinking process really of uh, starting, I remember just get starting, starting. them. And, and you know, you just kind of keep on going and, mm -hmm. and next thing you know, you be covered up. But um, yeah, just like I say, everything. Elevation though. So, mm. But the rich part, when you're talking about rich, cause what I'm getting is not even just rich monetarily, it's right. rich, I mean, with the people around you, the, oh, yeah. everything yeah. made you rich in that form. Is that, what, I, is that what you meant? Yeah, like my f network and exactly, and the people that I'm able to to meet and interact with, and then um, sometimes it's just as simple as like you know fans, you know yeah. fans reaching out to you and and telling you certain things. Like that's probably one of my best, my favorite things about this career is I can never really get to imagine like you being cheered on every day. Like I'm really being cheered on every day. Somebody telling me something positive every day. Every day, like like people, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Those people hitting me from Finland. Like I just got on your, you know that, and so sometimes, and you know, uh, does as, it blow your mind? 
sometimes it be needed like you need it it come right when it when you need it you got know it. um so it's just a beautiful thing man and and we got a long way to go mm-hmm. so it's just this is to mark this point in time um of this is just was how i was feeling in the moment coming off of david street um and just i kind of felt like these albums for me you know moving to houston and being inside of the the understanding of how you know we make music you know as you know self-made or key or me and key or whatever i kind of felt like um this was a, a elevation for me musically just really really showcasing what i have learned since being in Houston. What about uh, Coca Culture? Right. You know, that was that was one that I listened to that kinda, you know, jumped off for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I went through that I went through that listen. You say you selling niggas culture. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, y'all had a man, listen, man. Every time you never you don't never fail. Like what 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 made that what made you do that song and name that song that? Oh man, just you out there selling niggas culture? Like why wow, like crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I used to sell drugs, like man, man, people is is hitting me up for boxes, and a shirt and a CD, and and I'm selling myself. I'm selling the way I talk, the way I, you know, what I'm saying the way we see things and the way we interpret things, and um, you know, for me, somebody like me, man, that's, that that stuff is a is a real crazy blessing because, like, man, these people fuck with what we got going on, and and they wanna they wanna be a part of it, they wanna have something tangible to hold on to to kind of, you know, mark this moment in time for them as well. So, yeah, we really literally out here selling culture. Out here selling culture, man. Yeah, like, not you, and you, had culture. A, you had some, you had a few collabs on that thing, man. Like, yes, it, it was a, it was, a, it was more than, I think more than David Street for sure. Like, yeah, more, yeah. More, this, features, this, more features on this one. Man, dealing with creative people and being able to, um, to work together and collaborate and, and bring ideas to life. And, man, that's, that's, See, that's something that I hadn't really, I hadn't been doing as far as like, I just got out here and just put my head down and just started, you know, doing mm-hmm. albums by myself. So I didn't even really understand the, the mysteries of that, that shit right there and how to, you know, like, because it, it was, my my operation was a one man operation. You yeah, know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like now, you know, to be able to, first of all, have the respect of your peers to be able to ask them. You know, and it and it can operate like and and also being asked like mm-hmm. people ask me to, man, my, my heroes be asking me to, to do verses and exactly. shit like that. That shit's crazy. Mr. You know? Lee on that on that one, mm-hmm. I just that that was him and, and Lil Kiki like like mm-hmm. uh, you know how do you come up with who you gonna put on the song when you gonna put them on the song for as the beats that you selected and just the way the whole thing is laying out. Um, how did you how did you know who you was gonna have on that song? How do I know? I really that song particular actually. I'm gonna tell you just in the process of doing this, what I have found out, you you are a conduit to kind of you know help things go along or whatever. But man, at the end of the day, the music really be making itself, and you may have an idea for one person to get on there. And it, it don't be, it, it, it's not for them, you know, it's for somebody else. So really all you can do is kind of, you know, um, kind of heard it this way or kind of heard it that way. But whatever it's supposed to be in the end, that's what it's supposed to be. That's why this, man, this, this the craft of music making and all of this stuff, man, it's a, it's, it's a really spiritual endeavor. So when you see that again, like, that's why you 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 gotta be careful when you talk about people's stuff, man. Because this this is is it's a it's a spiritual undertaking. It's not I'm waking up and I'm saying it's not that. It's it's you don't have as much control over this stuff as you think as you as somebody outside the culture would think. As but a, in your music, you're talking your truth, right? Yeah, I mean, I am expressing to be really really honest. Yeah. Some shit that I know that people ain't gonna really understand. I am letting myself as as whatever the frequency is of whatever song or whatever the energy is, I am listening to that as well. I'm letting it happen, if you want to say. Like I'm 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 not really thinking about it, to be honest. It's a certain energy that you get into for each different song, the same as if it was a if it was a, a, a slow Philly kind of song. Where as as you become um in, in in tune with whatever feeling that is, whatever comes out of you at that moment, that's what the song is. I can't make that song 
without the music first you know what i mean like it, it i can't it's it's a it's a thing it's a excuse me it's a marriage of 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 certain things that makes it happen it's not no fucking you know like this ain't making burgers this is this is the music game and when you start talking about um the way when people are responding to you in a certain way as if man I, like you did that and it touched me it's a humbling feeling for both of us you know what I mean? because it's like wow that's what it did so i'm feeling like this this music come lee it, we could just say lee for example lee think that this you i want you on here it is i'm hearing you i'm sending this to you i hear that track i vibe with it that's me and his spirit right there i may think okay we can get steph on this to sing the hook and but now hers is in there you know and and um um you saying this i'm rapping this he put this feeling into and then we shoot the video we do the and they respond to it however mm -hmm. they respond to it. or guess what or they don't say shit or they say fuck it or we don't care and they ignore it or whatever and then you back to the drawing board to um to express again to see you know what i'm saying that that's yeah. do you understand like what yeah. i'm saying mm -hmm. Let me so ask that's you like about, about um something that just crossed my uh, big pokey man he Damn. passed away and last project you had a big pokey on that project yeah. and i know he would have been on this project for sure so like like that's something that's an empty space that that we didn't even see coming like <laughs> yes. for that to for that to happen the way it did i remember you you had some harsh words that you said when he first passed away like harsh. don't it was like don't it was something you said like don't put all this over it was like almost a what did i say it was something you was you said it in the moment it was like about he said I, it on about, social media he said it on social media Damn, were it, you sure it, i'm pretty sure it was it was it was something it, it may not even been in, uh, to that but it was almost like it was almost like a fake love thing like j Dog did, I think. It was almost like, you know what I mean? Like when somebody passed. I don't, I don't, I don't recall it, but I will say, I was. I'm telling you, it happened. I was yeah, looking yeah, at yeah. it. I mean, I know like, you're not damn, lying. Like, like it, but it made sense. Like, right. like, it was almost like, don't contact me with. with, with, with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You remember that, that don't Yeah, you? I do remember that. I, I remember because I, I love you, so I'm yeah, always it, it, watching it wasn't, you. It wasn't when like. You win, I, yeah. I win. Right. Repeat, but, repeat but exactly what you said. First, someone. Let's say this. I wasn't in my feelings about it. I, I really wasn't. I don't think that either. But no, I just it was. Know how it was. It was like, man, y'all stop calling me about this type shit. Yeah, like, like you, you, you know, like, man, I don't want to be all day answering, man. Al, is you all right? And I, hey, man, I felt that. Stop. And I didn't call him at one. I don't even think I called no, him. No, like, like it, it, it's. But I know you, I felt that people, you was trying to get a message out to say, hey, man. man but we, if people we, are we calling love, you, wouldn't that mean that they care about you and they're just checking no, on you to make sure nosy, that you okay? Man, man, you know that. You know people be nosy, man. Some of them, but some of them genuinely do. If, you, gen, if you genuinely, okay, can we, that's what I'm saying. It, I have to be careful. That's, that's why I really kind of toned down on the interviews because, um, things can be misconstrued. Mm -hmm. When you, th what I'm trying to say is that my mama died. Okay, your mama, you, you got your, your mama still. My mama still here, but his mama away, gone. My sure. daddy gone. Your daddy, your daddy gone. Mm -hmm. So if if so, you saying if they didn't call you to check on you, then then don't no, call no, and no, check no, on no, you I'm at all. No, 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 I'm not saying that. You've been I'm, through a lot already. I'm saying that exactly. Like man, mm -hmm. some of my closest friends and died. A lot of, you know what I mean? Like it. Hey, you know what it's I'm saying? life. Yeah, I'm mean, I'm to the point now where it's life, and you know, and um, one thing I know for sure is that it, it's gonna happen to me too. Mm -hmm. And and all we can do when I when we when we lose people, man, is try to get the lessons. Man, Poke was a, a is a great guy, a lovable dude, uh, so cool, like one of the coolest. Like a real cool ass nigga, like probably one of the most coolest niggas I ever met in life. Just his spirit, he a humble soul, man. And he was just a, a, a individual that can light up the room. He had real rap aura, you know, and he was really reluctant to do this shit. It's, he ain't give a, really a give a fuck about this shit, really. What lesson have you learned from him? Work hard while you got the opportunity. Um, and don't take this shit for granted. Because if you neglect your opportunities and you don't maximize your moment, um, the, the blessings that you get, 
you know, later on when maybe you're not in the greatest health and you you you're gonna be in a position where you where you gotta work hard anyway, and that could be to your detriment. You know, mm-hmm. man, you gotta try to get it. Why why the getting is good? You gotta get it. You know what I mean? And don't that way when if ever you get a you know uh, some kind of bad prognosis, you know you can you can adjust knowing that man I put my work in when I had the opportunity, but that's neither here nor there. We love them, um, and like I said, just a just a, a a brother that embraced me real fast, man. Due to Key for sure, and just being around him and just his energy was definitely very contagious. You you, you was around him, you felt you know like seen for sure. You saw you felt uh, like like he 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 wasn't full of himself. He was just a real laid back humble dude man that had this gift that was effortless to him and that he he really wasn't let me ask it well, that, and during that interview him. like like i'm not interview but during that video like like um when y'all did that video together what can you remember that sticks out to you about the video when you and only him funny keep, only funny like, shit. like what give me something that the fans deserve it <laughs> I was okay. Like when we had to, we had to go to this, uh, to this, this, this place to go film this one part of the video. And I remember when he, when he, when he came in with the, uh, with the mud bully kennel shirt yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember thinking like, ah, damn, you gonna wear your uh, business shirt? <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> ah, damn, Dina. You know, like, like he just was. He never gave a fuck about this shit, really. Like he he didn't take it, like like you know he just I am you know come up. But he was definitely very fly. Like man, I'm just he's so cool that like no matter he bringing his aura, you know, and he ain't really tripping about like some shit that I would have been tripping about. <laughs> like I I wouldn't have wore. Uh, a boss talk shirt <laughs> to uh, to to his video, but he just was a great dude, man. I really was just so happy that he was even there to begin with. And we shared a lot of laughs. I'm glad we got a lot of that on film. Um, and man, like I remember we went to uh, uh, it was Key's party, but um, I forget what it was. A, definitely a party for 25 summers. And man, like just to think that we at this party and we laughing and talking. And he don't even got two more weeks. He don't even got another week left, you know, wow. like on the planet. Like, and the same picture from this night was on the obituary. You wow. know what I mean? Like we, we, I mean, it was like, cause so every time I see that, that picture, I can't help but think of like, man, we, you know, we, we, when we go to these parties, like that's, you know, it, it, our, you know, thing, you know what I mean? Like, that's my boy, man. So it's wow. like, we, he's my party partner, meaning that, like, that's who I be with. I get by, by him in these parties where Key is the, you know, the lead dog or whatever. Do you ever feel like, because of how he died or, you know, maybe you've had other friends who have just, you know, passed away suddenly as he did. Do you ever feel like, because I know I feel that way, um, like, your treasured moments, like I need to spend more time with family. I need to build certain things because death has no age, right. sort of, you know. So it can happen to any one of us. Mm-hmm. So to build something with the family, to leave that with them, so that they're okay, not only financially, physically, but also mentally. For sure, and and to get the most out of your gifts. Yeah, like whatever your gift is, don't be playing like you got next year. Or you know, or next week you don't have you don't know how much time you got. So try to try to lead with a certain sense of urgency. Like have a sense of urgency about what it is that you're doing. You know you don't want to get marginalized out of your moment due to um, not giving all you got. You would have definitely been on pain, made me rich. Oh, for sure, man. For sure. Uh, let's, let's talk about that. Uh, Texas tough man. He do got an album coming though. He do. Yes. Good. I oh, gotta wow. make sure I say that. Yeah, he, he got, got an album coming. Oh, right. when is that coming out? It's not my place to say. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but but he definitely, he definitely got an album coming though. Okay. Cool. For sure. Texas tough man. Uh, you, 
and Kiki, of course, I hear y'all, and I love hearing y'all collab, man, because y'all dope. But to see Twisted Black get in that thing, and he Black. was not playing. Yeah, I, I listened to it. I said that nigga was not playing. Fit right on up in yeah. that thing. He held his business. Yeah. How did you feel about the track? And and like like how did you, how did that even come about? Black. Um, of course, you know that's my boy. You know. Yeah, been on yeah. The love black, love black. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what's crazy. Um, how I how I first started talking to black. Um, uh, Bink, legendary producer, big on Rick Ross catalog. Bink is my boy. Bink the humble monster. Um. Um, Bink had called me one day with DJ Toomp on the phone on FaceTime and so like I'm like damn and it's, it shows like DJ Toomp and Bink I'm like what the fuck you know what I mean like legend is great you know you know I don't, you know DJ Toomp like yeah, rubber course. band man yeah, you know, know what I mean like you know big ass producer what the hell y'all calling me for on FaceTime and want to see me and shit and um, they was asking me Basically, like what I thought about Twisted Black, he had just came home at the time or something, right? And um, I'm like, what the fuck you mean? What I mean? Like, what I think? How you know? I don't know. Like, what what are, what are y'all? And they was asking me basically what I thought that he should be doing, right? Like asking me for some type of insight, mind you. If you know about rap history, man, Black was before he um got incarcerated, whatever. Man, Black had a million dollar deal on the table. Meaning that somebody thought enough of him mm -hmm. <laughs> to give him a million dollars to rap. You know what I mean? Back to the question of what the hell is y'all calling me for? You know what I mean? What, what, what is you asking me to, you know, to critique his situation or whatever? But, um, you know, they was just asking my insight. And, you know, we talked and, um, um, you know, we, 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 as far as I chopped game with them. And then somebody else um was asking me about him as well so um yeah it just seemed like it was and i think i called you right like oh, I, yeah. I was like i yeah, was you like called me, me and then we we linked up with him you know we right. already was talk you know but it was just something that was organic because you already had been talking around him as well and right. i had already told him about you right i told him it, about you when i interviewed him. Mm -hmm. i'm like man you need to give it he like i know i was like yeah right you need to talk to ld so just like two and just like uh, Bink, DJ right. Bink was was telling you, I was telling him because of your journey and your grind. Right. And in my mind, I'm like, if I can link y'all together, then I can definitely get him to understand the way you are developing in this environment. Yeah. It's really important yeah. to me. Being like, it's you like know, the way you the way you are developing versus the way he's developing. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be important to him to see your development. That's all I, you know what I mean. Right. That and that to see you and to say I can do it after being locked up for so many years. Right, but we learn from each other for sure. For sure. Um, but I, I, I knew that that would be because I knew he live. I knew he dope. Yeah. But I wanted to see both of y'all kind of, kind of talk and come into your element because I knew that you already you you see what you didn't try it both ways. You nigga, you've been out here selling boxes or goodies ever since I met you. <laughs> right. You got uh, all kind of SD cards and all kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Then you went and you started dealing with the streaming and you know working you you trying to figure it out on that end. I seen this with my own eyes. Right. And you out of anybody to me would be able to give some good advice on how to survive in this environment. Right. That's um, what I did. It for. Uh, apparently a few people thought like that. Same way. And um just us talking um intelligent brother and man just i'm gonna tell you another thing really just real niggas man like we just gotta help each other like it, it's one of them situations where you don't we, we it's not enough of us to get to choose you know like i'm only gonna mess with these you know it ain't enough of us so we gotta help each other in whatever way we can and um um upon like another thing is you know of course i'm very connected into fort worth politics and stuff like that so you know everybody told me that that he was a real nigga really they say he was solid they say his character was was great what do you think about that verse on that on that song uh, that's 
That's what see that, that hoe went hard. Back yeah. to what we saying. That hoe went hard. When you got the other stuff, that hoe went hard, nigga. It, it can God go dang. easy, man. You niggas killed that. It can go easy, man. That's when what you I'm got saying. I thing. can't. And, and I, yeah, I know y'all be getting mad at me a lot of time because I'm the type of nigga put y'all <laughs> up against anybody. Right. Y'all niggas don't want to go though. Y'all, nah, man. That, <laughs> you know, a lot of niggas don't. I be like, man, Kiki could do this, man. LD might be this, and niggas yeah. get mad because I don't care. You right. know, I'm out here putting in my building blocks together. Right. You go get that nigga. I'm gonna go get this nigga. Type. Sure. Conversation For and sure. I really stand on this. This is what I believe. And yeah, it'll yeah. be like, man, that nigga, he, man, I done heard some hell of arguments, man, bro. I'm gonna because tell you. this is the South. Yeah. And I'm not trying to hear it, bro, right. about this whole broken scale that niggas been using for years. Yeah. So quit trying to make me I'm not with that. You it's know what I'm saying? Of, it's, it's a lot of talented, <laughs> it's a lot of talented rappers. In, uh, talented artists, period. That's right. In the state of Texas, man. And I would advise you to, you know, talk to them Killer Kalyons, them Cal Waynes. I was going to bring that. It's on, what's the name of that song? It's it's on me or what, uh, what's uh, the Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Kyle. I seen you and yeah. Killer Kalyon linked yeah, up on that. I'm going to tell you something. Like, just and li like, have this in your mind because it's one thing um, to like when you, when you, Kyle is, is, when we, Kalyon is one of the, Probably what a lot of people would say is the top lyricists in Texas, right? Um, um, Jada Kiss and all of these, he fuck with all of them and shit, right? And and plus he got a he got a illustrious history as far as um, doing his thing. It's one thing to think to yourself like as as a formidable person yourself, like that you gonna kill whatever whoever blah blah blah. But then when we go to the studio though. Yeah, and we in here together. Do you still have that same confidence? That's what I'm saying. Like, I think a lot of times in this rap shit, um, from what I see, people talk over what their experiences are, and they never been in a situation where you was with one of the elite MCs or these elite rappers that's around here, millionaire platinum rappers and shit like that. It's easy to talk about how how good you think you are, but you haven't never made a project and a million people went to go buy it. Mm. One million people. Mm. See what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta factor that in. And um, I just was really blessed to man. That was a hell of a track. To fuck with somebody, you and, know. And like I'm gonna say this, man. You know, I I I, didn't, I, I knew already what it was, what it was gonna be to me. You know, when I when I seen uh, when I seen the track on there, but I also. I knew you, you know, you gonna hold your own for show, sure. um, man. Look, Kiki, man, that's a whole nother level right there, just in itself, you know. So I ain't even trying to hear none. Of that. If you can get on that track with little Kiki, nigga, up in Texas, nigga, it's a it, for me. That's hard, bro. Like, ain't no niggas don't give him enough credit. I'm just gonna be real with hey, you. Hey, let me let me say this about that. I'm glad you said that. I'm just gonna be real I'm with a, you. I, wish I don't I, care who don't like it. It don't matter who don't like <laughs> it. But, I, but but I wanna I wanna I wanna really make sure that I say this because I see I definitely got the time to do it. I really do got the time to do it because it didn't go as, we, we good. Okay. Oh. Let me, we really good, you know. And it's only high, 130 minutes. Today. Okay. Okay, so um, I want to I wanna make sure that like, that I say this um, on record. Man, Key, uh, oh, first, before I get to Key, um, man, I've been very fortunate in my rap life to have um, great teachers, of course. A lot of people know I was like that with Rari. Rari definitely. Shout out Rari, that's my guy Rari. right there. <laughs> he give me a lot of trouble though, but it's all good. Right. I gotta get him on the mic because too many niggas keep coming to him. He can they rap. Keep asking. He can rap. He the best rapper alive. Right. Texas. Uh, Nigga, where? I'm where looking for this nigga. I, I'm on him, man. I'm on him. This right. boss talk, you know, yeah. podcast 101. Like, like you it's a unique get, hustle. Really a unique hustle. Right. It's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> we got to figure this out. But go well, ahead. That's my guy. So when you talk about like, first of all, you, you can give somebody and, and bestow upon them the fundamentals and, you know, um, and then they take it to wherever they're going to take it to. But the whole point, what I'm trying to say is that um, I was... You know, I really didn't think I had shit else to learn about this shit, to be honest. I mean, I know I'm learning every day, always. Man, that nigga Kiki is a motherfucking wizard in this shit. And this, and this, this whole, man, man, it's, it's really not, I don't think it's exciting to hear about with people. You know what I mean? Nobody give a damn how you make this shit. Do we like it or, or do we not? And I get that. 
But I will tell you that being <clears throat> in when somebody allow you into their space while they create, man, that's a that's that's a they fuck with you when you do that. Mm -hmm. You know, to allow you into their space while they doing this shit, and and for you to see how it how it you know how to do this. Not to say you gonna do the exact same thing, but when you know how, like if I teach you how to make kale, and you now you know the your for your taste, you might put this or this exactly right, but. Just being in a situation where I've been blessed to um, be with him while he creates um, and and just to elevate my game musically to understand that this is a spiritual thing. This is not just, um, you know, just making music and, you know, just saying something. It's, it's collaboration. It's energies. It's, you know what energies I mean? Energies everything. Yeah, and it's, it's you You are responsible with making sure that the right energies to produce the results that you want are in place. And this is all shit that I learned from him, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, uh, I'm going to be real, man. Like, when I think about just uh, what you've been able to accomplish in the time that you've been home and all the stuff that you've done, man, it's just incredible to see, you know, what what you've done, you leave no excuse right. for dudes to come out here and act as if they don't have the opportunity. Right. Only thing you, you got to work though, and you got to be strategic, and you got to look and listen at the mission. You got to pray. Yes. You got to pray. You got to pray, and you got to understand that you're gonna go through some hard times, some hardships, yeah. and, and then still be able to get up and look up and keep it moving. Do you want to hear the sad reality? Let's mm -hmm. talk about it. The sad reality is this shit not for everybody. Come on now. And it's really not. You know what I mean? You, but, Man, when you talk about feelings being hurt, you spend the majority of your time with hurt feelings in this shit, you know? And you got to have a thick skin about it. And, and you got to keep pushing. Of course, you have to pray and all of that. But I meaning first and foremost, you got to pray. But just at the end of the day, this shit not for everybody. It's not. It's like, it's not. I think once you... Put yourself out in the limelight no matter what type of career you're in. You put yourself out there for a criticism. For It's like you have to have that thick skin, whether you're in music, blogging, content creating, whatever. Because mm -hmm. you're putting your life out there. Just like I used to always say, I was always um, feel sorry for some celebrities because they have no privacy. When you reach a certain status and you walk out there, TMZ, all these other people that's in your face, you, have, you can't even go to the grocery store anymore. That's the trade-off. But is it worth it? Uh, depends on how much you really want to do what it is that you're doing, you know? It's never going to be an even balance to anything that you're trying to do. And, and as anybody that's ever tried to achieve balance, you know, you're going to be falling off. You're going to be lacking because there is no balance. You got to have, you know, your significant other or something to, to hold whatever in that you lack, you know? So... You know, for me, personally, I have fucked up so much that I just, just like, I'm going to do this or die, you know, die in it. Love the streets, man. Delisha J. Mm -hmm. How did you end up picking her to be on that, on that song? And it had like an R&B-ish feel to it, too, which was real. It was a real fly vibe. Thanks. Um, you know and I'm Trey saying? Ward. And Trey Ward. I, I heard, yeah, I heard both of them. Way. Like, yeah. like they both came, they actually complimented one another. In right. It. And that's right. the, that's the whole goal, man, to put people in, in, in positions where they can sh see this, what I'm saying. This is my development as an artist is, is, has led me to want to use my, um, platform, my albums or whatnot to put people in a position to be, do what they do. And be their best selves, you know. I feel like that's part of my responsibility, you know, to kind of um, lay it out to where people can, because you know, and basically that's what's been done for me. Wow, you know, that's people have been put me in these positions, man. Mister Lee fucking with me and man, uh, uh, legendary, Key and of course DZ and just anybody, you know, anybody that ever had fucked with me in any kind of way, I, they didn't have to, like they was, they just was blessing my game. And it was, you know, for me to have like this many and to be in like this cycle in this process of creating and releasing music, you know, I want to be a bridge. I want to help, That's you know. Real. Yeah, for sure. I, want, I, I just want to say thank you for coming on the show. I, I don't want to let you get out of here. I'm about to let you get out. But 
I mean, you did what is it, fifteen tracks on this? On this, uh, yeah. okay. Which what track sticks out to you? I've I've told you the ones that I I've asked questions about certain ones that stuck out to me. Like, uh, you know, um, you know, I'll bullshit aside, Jack Freeman. I think I just really, just really, I really fuck with uh, Jack Freeman's voice. Um, all of it. It's a cohesive project, and I'm gonna tell you, like, like, bro, like. We don't, when we make this music, like, it's not a joke. It's not, uh, well, you know, we just making music, you know, drop it, post it, and then go about your business. Like, this is, nah, this is, it's a big investment in this shit. We, we do what we do. We put the work in, and it's for a certain, it's for a certain outcome, and we always on to the next thing, too. So, um... I just I I look and expect for people to come away with um like you know to to just feel the effort in it and to know like damn this nigga done took it to another level. Man, pain made me rich, man. Y'all need to get stream that. I'm gonna say this right now. Anybody who think they this project right here, go listen to the lyrics. Yeah. Get your best rapper. <laughs> I don't care if you're in the East Coast, West Coast, in the South. Go listen to this album and tell me, cause I just don't think, hey, it's gonna be hard to touch. This is my opinion. You can't say nothing, nigga. Right. This is my opinion. <laughs> go check it out. If you got somebody that can go bar for bar with him, let me know. We're gonna put him right here in this seat beside him. I seen him on Rap e Economics the other night too. Mm -hmm. He's not nobody to play with. Right. I'm telling you right now, hey, this pain made me rich. I promise you, you don't, you don't, you better go check it out because there's a lot of greats on there. Right. But this nigga right here, man, I don't, listen, shout out to Papa Doc too. You, I know you're going to want this one. You're going to want this one, baby. <laughs> I got it. And you going to want it. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Right. <laughs> man, right. thank you for coming on the show, man. But I really don't think lyrically is nobody touching you right now. That's my opinion. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've seen you do this over and over again. Mm -hmm. Mr. Lee's seen it in you. Uh, Look, Kiki's seen it in you. Rob mm. Reed's seen it. Everybody's seen it in you. I see it in you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Bless. Ain't nobody touching that, bro. Bless. So at the end of the day, you ain't going to say, I'm going to say it for you. If they go check oh, that out. I don't mind saying it. Go check that out. <laughs> if you think you I don't mind is, saying it. Listen, the GOAT is in the building. Y'all y'all uh, niggas better get, yeah, let's no. get it. Oh, yeah, uh, I'm going to yeah. make him come for yeah. you. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, come for it. He ain't scared. No, uh, and I'm not. <laughs> but uh, we very blessed, but though, we man. Humble, man. We very blessed, and we we we've been given this opportunity. And you know, we just gonna continue to match the gas. Man, and you guys are dope, out, bro. Get the most out Look, of Kiki, it. man, where you at, baby? You know already. You supposed to been on Boss Talk. Yeah, we talk Kiki. about this all the time. <laughs> Kiki, Don Key, where you at, baby? Mm -hmm. It's time. I know we didn't get to do it last time, but I got your bone here again. I'm on it. He I'm actually on coming. Him. He actually coming. He's. I know it. I know. I'm ready for to get him. I got to get him up in here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He said he coming here for sure. Yeah, we got to do it, man. I thank you guys, man. Love you guys, man. How can people get a hold of you? Man, Addy 300 on every platform. AL hyphen D uh, asterisk 300. No spaces on any uh on anything, man. So, you know. Man. It's a unique hustle. Hey, Boss Talk <laughs> 101. What a boss is talk. And we out. <laughs>